A video of actress Rashmika Mandana entering a lift, followed by another video of actress Kajol and another of her honorable prime minister performing Garbha has once again raised concerns of misuse of artificial intelligence. Deep fakes have already made their mark on the global stage, raising concerns about their potential impact on society. Here are a few examples of recent news stories that highlight the pervasiveness and growing sophistication of deep fake technology. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. Most of us don't get our health care through the marketplace. Number one, we have the video of Barack Obama. One famous example of a deep fake video that appears show Barack Obama delivering a speech in which he says that he has never actually said. The video was created by using an AI model to superimpose Obama's face onto the face of a different person who was actually saying the words. The video was so convincing that many people believed it was real, even though it was completely fake. Next, we have the video of Tom Cruise. A series of deep fake videos featuring Tom Cruise's face superimposed on another person's body went viral on TikTok, garnering millions of views and raising questions about the potential for deep fakes to be used for entertainment or malicious purposes. Next up, we have the video of President Zelensky's. A deep fake video depicting Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky urging his troops to surrender surfaced during the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The incident served as a stark reminder of the potential for deep fakes to be used for political propaganda and misinformation. The world of artificial intelligence meets the news business. A CNN affiliate in South Korea recently debuted the country's first AI news anchor. It's South Korean television channel MBN began using AI-generated news anchors to deliver news reports. While the company claimed that the AI anchors were intended to increase efficiency and reduce costs, the move sparked concerns about the potential for AI to replace human journalists and erode trust in traditional media. We also have voice clones, where scammers clone the voice of directors of companies to dupe millions of dollars. In this video, we will look at how deepfake is done, its implication, and how, knowingly or unknowingly, popular apps are making us a part of it. Deepfakes are created using a sophisticated combination of artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques. This is very similar to how human brain identifies and interprets information. For example, we see a cat and we use the word cat. How do we know that a given object is a cat? Well, we have seen many cats, thus we identify them. Our brain has created a connection between the image and the encoded word cat. Let's turn this process around. Close your eyes and picture a cat. Can you? Sure you can, but how? By using the knowledge stored in your brain. Computers do this the same way. Once the computer has encoded many similar images, for example, the image of a cat, it can reverse this process and go from cat to an image. This process is called decoding. Deep fake creation works exactly like our brain. The process of deep fake creation typically involves three stages. Number one, data collection. A large data set of images, audio or video of the target individual is gathered. This data provides the foundation for the AI model to learn the person's unique facial features, voice patterns, and mannerisms. In our example, we feed millions of images and videos of as many cats as possible from around the world. Number two, training and modeling. The AI model is now trained on the collected data, allowing it to identify and extract relevant features and characteristics of the target individual. This process involves complex mathematical algorithms that enable the model to learn the underlying patterns and relationship with the data. And third and the final step is synthesis and generation. Once the model has been trained, it can be used to synthesize new media content featuring the target individual. This involves manipulating the existing data to create new images, audio or video that appears to depict the target individual performing actions or saying things they never did. I know it sounds complex because it is complex. Making a deep fake is not an easy process. For a video to look very real, you have to match it frame by frame. Now, a normal HD video is usually shot at 30 frames per second, which means for 60 seconds or a one minute video, the AI model has to match 1800 frames. But now there are apps that make it easier for you. They don't give the same finesse and accuracy, but they are pretty good and they are getting better. In 2019, Snapchat launched a feature called Cameos, which allows users to insert their selfies into short looping videos. 
Cameo's uses deepfake technology to create a realistic and personalized experience. The feature has been popular with users and it has helped to increase engagement on the app. Like Snapchat, TikTok has also experimented with deepfake technology. In 2020, the app launched a feature called AI Duet that allows users to create duets with celebrities or other popular figures. The feature uses deepfake technology to create a realistic illusion that the user is performing alongside the celebrity or popular figure. Next, we also have this Face app. Face app has been used to create deepfakes. In 2019, the app went viral after users began posting videos of themselves using the app to make it appear as if they were saying things they never did. The app raised concerns about the potential for deepfakes to be used for malicious purposes and it sparked a debate about the ethics of AI-powered face swapping technology. As deepfake technology continues to evolve, it is imperative to remain vigilant, informed, and engaged in the conversation about the impact on society. By embracing education, prevention, and technological advancement, we can navigate the deepfake maze and ensure this powerful tool is used for good and not for manipulation and deception.